Did you know you can automate your school group? That's right. Using these four simple automations, you'll be able to automate your school group, allowing you to save hundreds of hours a month and focus on the important things within your group. School right now is what Facebook groups were five years ago. And after Alex Omozi announced his investment in school last week, it's only going to go bigger and bigger as the number one place to host and nurture a community in 2024. As your school group grows, you're taking a risk of overwhelming yourself with tasks like nurturing leads, adding members to your CRM, or even inviting past clients to your group. Don't miss out on the opportunity to automate parts of your school group, allowing you to provide more value to your members for free and remove any unnecessary delays which will stun your growth and shrink your bank account. For the past week, we've been playing around with all of our partners' school groups and in this video, I'll be breaking down four different automations which every single school group owner needs to implement in order to make the most of their group. As always, we are not going to be holding anything back and literally showing you everything we can really for free. So to avoid wasting any of your precious time, let's get straight into it. All right, guys, the first thing I want to look at is any automations that you can actually do within school itself. So to do that, it all starts at this school. The trigger for this is going to be whenever someone joins your school group. We're going to send them a message to encourage the lead to book a call and hopefully give you some money. Now the setup for this is super, super simple. All you want to do is go to your school group, head over to settings. Once you're within settings, you want to scroll down to plugins and here you'll see auto DM new members. All you have to do is edit this and here you can edit whatever message you want to send. In order to customize it, just use these hashtags. I think right now all you can customize is the name of the actual lead and your group name. So just an example, this would be, hey Leo, welcome to the group name message me, need help with anything. Now, the cool thing about this, it sends at a random points one to five minutes after the member actually joins. And if the conversation exists, it won't send another message. So you can customize your message here, right wherever you want and turn it on just like that. This is super, super useful. It does open that conversation with the lead whenever they join a group. So you'll be able to warm them up even further with that one-on-one -on -one conversation and hopefully get them to book a call and give you some money. Now, the next things we're going to look at is using Zapier, which is a no code platform. At the moment, I do believe that's the only integration our school have, but as they start growing, I'm sure they'll use Make and any other platforms. To get started on th these three different automations, the first thing we need to do is actually set up the connection between Zapier and school. For this, we'll start over here, back within your dashboard, you want to scroll down to settings and then within settings, head over to plugins and you'll see Zapier integration. And once you're inside, all you want to do is turn it on and copy your API key. Now we're going to go back to Zapier. And once you're within Zapier, you want to go to apps, search for school, add a connection. And here, all you're going to do is copy and paste the API key we got earlier, but also enter the identifier for your specific school group and connect it. Quite simple, right? All we're doing is connecting the API key to Zapier. It doesn't get easier than this, guys. Now, as of the 25th of January, 2024 which when i'm actually recording this video this is all that school has available like i said with the previous plugins i'm sure there's going to release more and more stuff in the future but for now this is what we can actually work with which is more than enough to help you guys out the first thing we're going to be looking at is how to automatically invite members to your group this automation is fairly simple whenever there's any sort of trigger such as a crm update a specific slack message even you put an email in a google sheet or a payment coming in from stripe you can automatically invite that member to your school group on autopilot now this will probably only take you two to three minutes to actually do but let's say you're onboarding a thousand members a month that's up to 50 hours saved every single month for this simple free automation the first step to actually identifying this is figuring out your trigger whether it's a CRM update, so updating a specific lead to closed, sending a Slack message within a specific Slack channel with a user's email, adding a user's email to a Google Sheet, or having a user pay for the subscription to your school group using Stripe or any form of third platform payment infrastructure. That will be the trigger to actually invite a member to your school group. To keep things as simple as possible, we're just gonna use a CRM update if you guys remember in a previous video, we built out this CRM. So we're going to be using this and the trigger for us will be a lead being moved over to active client. And from that, we're going to take the email and automatically invite them to school. Let's actually build this out. So first we need to configure the trigger because we use Notion, we're going to search for Notion. And then we're for event, we're going to choose an updated database item, continue, and we'll connect to your account. Then you want to find your database. And once you find your database, all you have to do is test it. Just like that, we have example company one which as you can see here is the updated one 
that was Muse the Active Client. Now, if you are actually using Notion, you should set up an actual step that filters it through, but that's not what we're focusing on today. So let's create the actual step to invite the members to school. Open up the action and search for school. Here we've already connected our account. So we have to do is choose the event of inviting a member. Continue. And we're just gonna plug and play this email from the CRM straight into there, allowing them to actually be invited to school. Now you can optionally give certain people certain courses. So for example, if you're inviting your client, you can give them straight access to specific courses. But for now, we're gonna leave it. And if we test this out and head back over to school, we can see that we have a pending invite for that specific email. So that's it for the first automation. Like I said, guys, this will only save you two to three minutes per task. But if you're having a lot of members join your group, I need to invite them automatically, let's say from clients or from your Instagram using ManyChat, this will easily save you 50 plus hours every single month. The next automation we're gonna look at is fairly similar to the first. All we're gonna do is share specific courses with certain members. So once again, for this, it could be a CRM update, a Slack message, a Google Sheet entry, or even a payment, allowing them to have the course. I suspect for most of you that you're gonna go down the payment approach. So whenever a specific Stripe payment comes in, you're gonna share the course with whoever paid. That's the example we're gonna be following today. So all we're gonna do for the trigger is look for Stripe. And for the event, you wanna scroll down to new payment. Connect your Stripe account and check for any new payments. Now, once again, guys, if you're good to do this properly, you'd have to set up certain filters to make sure all these certain people are getting access to the courses. But that's not the purpose of this video. If you want more information on that, drop a comment and we're happy to help you. Now that we've actually set the trigger for a new payment coming into Stripe, we need to give access to the course to that specific person. So all we're gonna do is go to action, head over to school. And for event, you wanna put unlock course for member. All you wanna do is plug and play their email address right here. And then choose a specific course that you wanna give them access to. At the moment, we don't have any courses in our school group, so we can't show you, but your courses will appear here. So it's just as simple as selecting a specific course that you wanna give them access to. Another thing I'd recommend doing is sending an email to the user so they know they've gone a course. And also, if you have a bunch of different courses, I'd recommend setting up paths and filter them based on the actual product they buy. So if they pay for a specific course, you ensure that they only get that specific course. But once again, guys, I'm just here to show you the basics. I don't want to overwhelm any of you with so much information. So don't worry if this looks so complicated. In reality, this is not necessary. And you can get started just by using a simple one-two automation to see a drastic difference in your day-to-day -day life. So, so far we've covered how to automatically invite members from any specific triggers to your school group, but also how to unlock courses for specific members, whether they pay for a course or for a CRM update. Now, the last automation we're gonna do is keeping a track of all your members that join and the specific questions within your CRM. And I've also thrown in a bonus kind of action that you can do to engage your leads more and warm them up, really, really proving the expertise in your specific field. Now, to actually do this, the first thing we wanna do is head over to school and turn on this membership questions thing. So once again, we're gonna go scroll over to your school group, go to settings, go to plugins, head over to membership questions and edit and turn them on. Here, you can ask questions to anyone that actually joins your group, which they have to answer. Now, these questions can be anything you want. Try to use them to actually qualify your leads. So for example, we could put, what is your current monthly revenue? You can put also different kind of tech boxes where there's multiple choice or just their email address. I'm gonna change this to ask for their email address, which is important if you actually wanna cheat, keep a track of your leads. Now that we've got our free questions and we've actually turned it on, it's time to test it by actually joining the group. So I'm gonna send an invite link out to myself. So as you can see, guys, when I join the group, I'm actually prompting to answer these questions. So I put my email address, I am interested, and I could put a random number for my current monthly revenue. Now I'm gonna submit that. Now, if we head over back to Zapier, and now we're gonna open up the school trigger, and for event, we're gonna put membership questions answered. Continue, and if we test it, we should see my entry that I entered just now. So as you can see, guys, here, we have the answers that I just filled in. We're gonna use these as the records, and now, there's a lot we can actually do with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually use the information they gave us and add it to some sort of CRM or database to track all the members that we currently have. So to do that, we are once again gonna use Notion, but you can use whatever you want, spreadsheet, a Slack channel, whatever you think is best. So we're gonna create a database item, continue. I'm gonna choose our CRM example that we used before. And for name, we're gonna put Leo. For email, we're gonna put the email that they gave us from the first answer. 
And then if we scroll all the way down, we can put a monthly revenue right there. Now we're gonna test this step and check out the Notion database to see if it's automatically updated. As you can see in active clients, we now have Leo, which has actually joined the group. And here we have information such as their email and their current monthly revenue. So guys, now that we've added them to your CRM, there's a lot we can actually do, as well as just sending them a welcome email with some information, because this basically acts as a trigger to let us know whenever a new member joins the actual group. A cool thing that we thought about and we've actually started using it in some of our partner school groups is providing sort of customized lead magnet when they join based on the answers to the questions. So for example, within these questions within school, you can ask things such as describe your business, what's your current bottleneck, stuff like that. We would then use those responses, send them with ChatGPT to create some sort of custom action plan, which is quite obviously a lead magnet to warm up the actual leads. If you want a real life example of this, check out the third link in the description for access to an interactive automation experience. That's an example of lead magnet where you answer a couple questions and from that you get a completely custom action plan with five different automations based on your specific problems as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually solve them. Using this lead magnet, integrating sort of lead magnet within your school group will improve your onboarding process, provide upfront value to your actual group members, show your expertise but also establish goodwill. It's a real game changer when actually building a community for your school group and the results you've seen from our partners are amazing. Now to actually set up some sort of lead magnet like this is a bit more complicated than just one, two automations. So if you wanted more information on that, check out this video right here for a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually create an AI powered lead magnet based on some sort of questions. And all you have to do is apply this automation, but instead the first steps will be a new membership, a new member being added to your school group. So to go over everything, we've talked about some of the automations that you can use within the actual school platform itself such as sending new users messages when they actually join. We showed you how to set up Zapier in school, how to automatically invite members to your group, how to automatically unlock certain courses for different group members, and how to automatically create powerful lead magnets and add leads to your CRM when they actually join your group. That's it. You now have an understanding of four different automations you can implement within your school group to provide more value to your members, start any potential conversation with leads, and save you hundreds of hours a month on repetitive, useless tasks. If you haven't already, you can sign up to school using the first link in the description. I believe they offer a two-week free trial, so make the most of it. In all honesty, these are four different automations which will get you started in your school journey, but there is a lot of room here for much more custom things. If you're watching this video, chances are you're interested in automating different parts of your agency. If that's the case, there's two things you can do. If you want to learn more about automation and different use cases in your agency, check out an agency guide to automation. This is a four in one magnet we've put together for agency owners looking to automate their systems. Within this, you'll find four different tools you can actually use to automate your agency from an automation checklist and savings calculator to five completely custom automations with a step by step guide on how to actually set them up. The best part is 100% free for all of our subscribers. All you have to do to actually access it is subscribe, like the video, and check out the second link in the description for free access to an agency's guide to automation. If you were interested in having a team of experts creating different automations and systems within your agency to help you systemize and remove yourself from day-to-day -day operations in only three months, book in a demonstration call with a team where we'll create a free action plan on different things you can create to move your agency towards a better model allowing you to scale through six figure months. That's enough for me. I know this video was valuable, so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this every single week. I'll catch you in the next one.